Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is Flat Top Friday. What? 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 Okay, okay. Okay. Hi. Joel! Oh, hi. Joel's a wild man. Mike's a wild guy. Okay. Well, he's got the Mortal Kombat shirt on, and that means he's ready to well, repair. Anyway, <laughs> but uh, throwing that sass. Yeah, I'm a little sassy today. Okay. They did like the episode yesterday, by the way. What edibles? Yes, they loved it. We were too much fun. You're my we're too wonder much fun. wall. You should have sang. Man, Damn, I feel like voice. Todd's pretty close. To what? Holding the white There he is. Shout out. This is a fabulous little extra. Uh, this is a, a Whitehead original OM. OM kind of a, has some of the 45 inlay, but yeah, there's just happened to be standing here and it's Friday, so. Kick ass, sorry. Damn, you Kick just did a Whitehead. Um, Whitehead drop. 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 Okay. You know what? It, it, it's Joel does some amazing stuff. I mean, I don't want to take away from the show. Where do you even right start? Here. But he was right there. <laughs> and, uh, anyway. Anyways. That night. anyways <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, well, first of all, very cool podcast coming Tuesday. The most amazing Vince Gill. Yeah, yeah. He came through and he did a podcast. It was really amazing. And it's going to air on Tuesday. Uh, so. He's playing some really cool guitars too on that podcast. Yeah, and he can just play the hell out of them. So, he's just. And. By the way, one of the nicest guys ever. Um, he, and you can—it's crazy. He's got such a just as good as he is on guitar. He can sing, and uh, even his speaking voice—you can tell. You're like, wow, I can just—I already want to hear you sing. You sound—you <laughs> sound amazing. <laughs> so uh, that'll be really cool. And then uh, also keep tracking those podcasts because we're going to give a guitar away um, regarding some information in there. Maybe a quiz. If you listen to all of them, we're gonna, you know, you have to be listening to win this guitar. I at least know that. And we'll, <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll decide what the competition's gonna be, but Norm agreed he's gonna give away a guitar, so that's really cool. Also, uh, oh, you know what? I wanted to thank Fender. Uh, Fender sent me a Jazz Master. That was pretty cool yesterday. A little Ventera Jazz Master. Nothing Let's give crazy. it away. Yes! Let's give it away, give it away, give it away now! Toot, 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 now. Oh, remix. Whoa, is there an echo? <laughs> no, that's just tubular Todd doing his thing. Woo! <laughs> all right. Let's get to it. Because yeah. I know you guys are going to mark what time this all ended. <laughs> yes. So you could skip it all. Well, let me tell you, those who stuck through it, God bless you. <laughs> all right, here we go. So today, we have a 1975 Gibson Hummingbird. Yes. Whoa, these are always good vibe guitars. I am love I right? these. The name, the look, very cool. So it started in 1960. Um, it's a dreadnought body. Um, you got mahogany back and sides. Oh. Pretty cool. Now you also have a mahogany uh, neck, but in 1970 they changed a few things. So this is actually a three-piece mahogany neck. You can kind of see the lines down here and they follow all the way up through the neck. Um, there's a few little marks here, but nothing crazy. Um, you got your Grover tuners. Um, also in 1970, the saddles are no longer adjustable and they changed to the block inlays. Um, so pretty cool. This one also, uh, the frets are actually kind of low, but it's, it feels good. It's, it's a real player. Um, also you have a rosewood board, a rosewood bridge, um, and it's the cherry burst, but it was actually the second most expensive guitar at the time too, um, in 1960, um, next to the J200. And then it became in 62, it was the second was the Dove. Uh, but this is a really cool guitar, and also what's really nice, it's got the LR bag so you can plug it in. And uh, I just think this is a player guitar. This is a great guitar for gigging. Um, it's got a vintage feel, but it also, you can plug in and play open mics, and you don't have to feel too worried about it, but you still have something really special. So we're going to take it out front and see what we can do. Thank you guys for watching, and make sure you keep checking out those podcasts. Because we want to give away a guitar. We want to give away a guitar. Yeah, let's Although, do it. 
Dun dun dun. <laughs> Turn around, Jen. This guy, are you watching us? You're giving away my guitars. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We're right. getting people excited. We're going to do it. For a because podcast. Because we're so proud, proud of the podcast. We don't want to jam it down your throat, but we're going to jam it down your throat. Because it's <laughs> yes. so good. We uh, love you guys. Thank you guys for following us. We really appreciate it. Let's rock. All right, we're out front with the 1975 Gibson Hummingbird. Uh, we're plugged into the 1966 Pro Reverb Fender. Uh, but first we're going to start off just acoustic and then we'll try that pickup out. So here we go. All right, now we're gonna uh, turn up that pickup and see what we get. have it your 1975 Gibson Hummingbird a beautiful guitar unplugged and plugged in um, really cool um, and also great for gigging um, this is a, a player grade guitar but also you know you can plug in and and uh, do open mics and a bunch of shows with this guitar and I think you'd be really happy with it um, so make sure you check out our podcast coming a, a fresh new batch coming on Tuesday and uh, check out all these guitars at normansrayguitars.com and also on Insta Instagram, Facebook, and Reverb, uh, I'm your host, Michael Emo. 
and we'll see you tomorrow for Strider Day. Bye.